uh, first of all, I'm just really excited again for this group to have an opportunity to get back uh, to another Frozen Four, uh, especially for, for our whole team, for our program. Uh, those mean a lot. They're very hard to get to. We beat two very well-coached teams, very, very good hockey teams this, this weekend. It was not easy. Um, it never is this time of the year, but uh, congratulate both Bowling Green and, and, and Quinnipiac on great seasons. Uh, and just real excited for our team uh, to get back there and have a chance to, to keep playing. All right, open up the questions for the student Peter, can you take us through uh, your goal there and, and what Scott Perinovich was able to open up for you? Yeah, I guess just it was power play. We were doing a good job of moving the puck around the zone, and uh, we knew that they kind of liked the pressure a little bit, so we tried to relieve the pressure and make them kind of run up and down. And uh, puck kind of found way cross ice, cross ice, and Scotty did a really good job having patience enough to, to hold it, not shoot it, and maybe get blocked or, or whatever, and find the, the soft area backside. And a uh, great pass to me, and I just tried to get it on net, honestly. And, and that's something that we've kind of been working on, you know, if there's a scrum or whatever, look, look weak side. And, Worked out there. Were you expecting him to shoot there or pass the whole time? And no one, I mean, no, how I know Scotty, I'd say probably was expecting the pass. You know, he, he sees stuff, you know, that no one sees out there on the ice and, you know, can understand get the play before it happens kind of thing. So I kind of had an idea I was going to, you know, if I found the soft area and there was a lane that he was going to make it happen. But at the same time, he's a threat to shoot at the same time. So, but um, you, you know, within that, you got to be ready at all times. Chef, uh, Carson Kuhlman was a big part of this team last year as captain. Parker McKay back wearing the C this year. Uh, his performance this weekend, tell us what it meant to the team. Well, I mean, he scored, he scored uh, big goals for us in the last two or three years. Uh, not a lot of times you can have a, a leader like Carson Kuhlman uh, lead, lead your program and have somebody basically step in and fill those shoes as big as they are. And, uh, I mean, without that guy, I don't think this team would be uh, where it is. Hunter, what can you say about the guys in front of you? I couldn't pick a pretty good offensive team and they had 10 shots through through two periods. I mean, there are a lot of schools in the country that are good offensive teams. and I think uh, the D card and, and the forwards in front of me have shown over the last two years that uh, I mean, we can be pretty stingy against any of them. I mean, uh, going into the tournament last year, you know, we did the same thing, the same group of defensemen. And, and the forwards uh, very responsible out there in their game also. I think we got picked up at the beginning of the year where we left off. And, um, our team's built for playoffs, and I think we proved that. Um, when, you're, when you're not giving up more than two goals a game a lot of the time because you're not giving up any quality chances, you're going to be in every single game. And, um, I think that's why our team's been so poised in the close games that we've been able to come on top of them. What does it mean after winning last year's national championship to, to get back to the Frozen Four? We were talking here. You guys are probably the first since the last team to repeat Denver. Yeah, I mean, we. I mean, first off, you know how hard it is, especially having been through that. And uh, but you know, at the same time, we, you know, being able to play in something like that, you get that taste. You want to, you, you want to get back there, and you got to pretend to get back there. So we put ourselves in a good spot throughout the first half and the second half, and and into playoffs. And you know, I still think we could play our best hockey. You know, I going forward and but I mean we, we're finding ways to win which is which is good and good teams find ways to win and uh, I thought we put a much better game tonight uh, you know and that's what it's going to take going forward but it's just an awesome experience and we know how hard it is to get there so at any time we get the chance to do that it's it's pretty special. You guys uh, were up by two and you gave up right here. and you gave up the uh, goal late uh, to make it a one goal game um, just what was the key for you guys to shut down Quinnipiac in those last few minutes to ensure they didn't tie the game up? I just keep going. We've been doing the last two years in the tournament. Uh, I mean, yeah, I made a good shot. I think for, for a team as good offensively as they are to make a play like that to score on us, I think it's not going to shake our confidence at all. It's, you know, those are the kind of plays teams have had to make the last two years to, I think, give them any opportunities against us, uh, especially after the way our penalty kills them. So, uh, I mean, that goal late, I don't think, changed our mindset at all. Chuck playing in the national championship, winning it last year. Uh, how much did that urge drive you guys uh, these last two days to, to get back there? How, how you know big was that that urge to get there again? Uh, I mean, Coach Allen 
always just making sure that we're not, uh, you know, being okay with just what we've done and settling with that. And he recruits guys that are competitive and always want more. And I think uh, getting a taste of winning it last year after being on the team my freshman year and when it didn't work out for us, I think, I mean, this group has been there and um, we just, we want more. You know, we wanted to get back here. That's, that was our goal at the beginning of the year. And we, knew, and we had to go to players to do it. Last question for the student athletes. They got to get ready for the plane. Uh, Kriegs, uh, that goal that uh, the Miller line scored there in, in the second period to give you guys a, a, a two goal lead. How big of a, a, a momentum change do you feel that was uh, for the team in this game as yeah. Quinnipiac was charging at that time? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's huge. That line has been unbelievable for us, you know, through the stretch and, and all year. Uh, the momentum that they've given us has been tremendous, and, and I mean, it just shows, you know, day in and day out. And gain, I mean, you know, it seems like every game they're they're creating positive momentum every shift, and uh, definitely, uh, you know, they've they've been capitalizing on opportunities like that, you know, through hard work and keeping it simple, getting the puck game kind of out, and and honing their defensemen. And, and I think that's you know, it's been a kind of recipe for their success, and it's been awesome for us. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, questions for Coach? Scott, you've been in this game a long time now. Tell us your perspective on the significance of going to three straight. Frozen fours and having a chance to defend that title. It's it's really really special because uh, this is hard. It's it's harder. It's getting harder and harder and harder every year. Um, see the new teams in here this year, right? See some teams that are that have been in here a lot, not in here. Like they'll be back here too. But it's just to, to get an opportunity to to do that. I mean, there was times during the year certainly that I wasn't really sure if this group was super hungry. Maybe they. I think they've picked up that hunger. I think at times uh, that I think they wanted it, but they found out how hard it is again to, to get there. And this this weekend was absolutely no different. You know, finding that out it was a good learning curve too. And we came out on top of two games, and you know, hopefully we can play two more. You know, we're gonna have one against a very good Providence team, so. We'll get prepared for that, but it's it's, it's special. Uh, I'm really excited for our players. Uh, I'm really excited for our seniors. You know that group's been very successful, um, and for the freshmen to have an opportunity to go through that, that's you have to go through those things, and that bodes well. It, it helps create the environment and the culture and the program and, and things like that. So, um, and the expectations that uh, that you want to have in your program. So. Uh, we're going to enjoy this right now and get prepared and, and you know, go to work. Is this the hardest of the three? Oh, no, they're all hard. <laughs> they're all hard. I mean, every one of them. You're playing great teams at this time of the year. And you know what? This is just how we do it. You know, we don't ever make anything easy. You know, so uh, we kind of grind it out and find ways to win. And so far, it's worked. Scott, this is the first time that you guys have faced Quinnipiac. How do you think they compare to other teams that you've seen? Good, good. They're well coached. Um, <coughs> I didn't watch a ton of video. I believe my assistants did that. I, I watched a, a little bit of their game last night against Arizona State and a little bit of tape, uh, you know, uh, last night as well. Um, but, you know, they're younger. You know, they got you know, a lot of freshmen. Uh, they're solid in that. I really like the guy, some of the guys they got on the back end. Unfortunately, like I said, they're probably going to lose, you know, one or two of those guys. That's the unfortunate thing for any program. But uh, they got a real mobile group. Uh, you know, they got good size, and I was really impressed with their decor. And, and they've got good depth through their forward lines too. And those young guys are only going to get better. This experience will help them too. And and Rand's been here before, so he knows. But so I, I was impressed with their team. Scott, I know uh, the start of the game has been put, kind of a point of emphasis all season long. Um, what did you think of tonight's start? It was better. You know, it would have been nice to. 
you know, put some pressure on and play better and score the first goal earlier. But, uh, you know, I liked it a lot better than I did the last two starts when we played St. Cloud and Bowling Green.